I am officially down 100 pounds. Yeah. Thank you. I know some of you in the front are looking at me right now like, well, how big were you? I know. <laughs> Hercules, Hercules, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, let me tell you what happened. Basically, I, I found out I was a little sick. Uh, I was diagnosed about two years ago, type two diabetic. Now, I maxed out at 445 pounds. Yeah, that's way past fluffy, okay? Let's be honest, that's not even, damn! 445 pounds, that's borderline Discovery Channel fat. That was like, I couldn't leave the house. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> he wants to go to the movies. It was really bad, you guys. And so I was waking up every morning with a, a 300 plus sugar level. Now, anyone who knows anything about diabetes, that is super high. And you do that enough times and eventually, <laughs> clear. <laughs> it's so hard to say goodbye. They buried him in frosting. It was the sweetest funeral ever. Everyone got a cupcake. It was a it was so nice. I'm at the doctor's office, you guys, and the doctor tells me, he says, listen, Gabriel, you're 445 pounds, your weight is out of control, your diabetes is out of control. You're 35 years old, you will not live another two years. I guarantee it. And I got very emotional, you know? I was like, are you serious? He goes, two years tops. And I was like, but I just started making money. Well, it's gonna be a nice funeral. I was like, what an ass. <laughs> so it took a lot for me to finally start doing something about it, you know, because it's not like this is the first time I try to lose weight. This has been happening for a long time, but somebody tells you you're gonna die, you actually wake up. So what it took was, it took the support of my friends, my family, and you know, especially, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Martin, you guys, helped me out so much because he's always encouraging me to go to the gym. Let's go work out, bro. Let's go do something. And more importantly than let's go work out is, you know, we're, we're on the road together 46 weeks out of the year, so we eat together a lot, and he's always watching what I eat. And if he sees me reaching for something I shouldn't mess with, he checks me, especially breakfast. That's my favorite meal. I love breakfast. And they always put us at these nice hotels where the, they give us this continental breakfast with the buffet, and, you know, if I'm eating eggs and bacon and sausage, that's fine. Yes, some of it's fattening, but guess what? No sugar. If Martin sees me reaching for muffins or waffles, he makes a scene. He waits for me to get about 15 feet away, and he starts yelling in front of all the people at the restaurant. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's still ghetto. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't care if it's a Ritz Carlton. Guess what? Machete's here. <laughs> he starts yelling. He waits for me to get 15 feet away, and then he starts. Really, bro? You're going to put that in your mouth, Fluffy? You know what that's going to do to your body? Hey, have some self-respect. And he makes me cry at breakfast. I'm sad. I'm like, I don't want the muffin. I don't want it. I don't want the muffin. I'm not a little whore. I'm not. I'm not a little whore. But see, that is a real friend who would check me and remind me, hey, bro, get mad at me all you want. I just want you to live. And I got to respect that. That's why I love that dude, you know? And in turn, sometimes I gotta check Martin. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, you guys, it goes both ways. Sometimes I have to check him. Not about his weight, but he has his demons too. You know, oh, believe that. Yes, sometimes there's limited space at the hotels where we're staying at. So sometimes we gotta double up on a room. And every now and then, Martino brings some random girl to the room at three o'clock in the morning wakes me up, I gotta look at him and say, really bro? You're gonna put that in your mouth? Do you know what that's gonna do to your body? Hey, have some stuff. He doesn't, he really doesn't. So. Oh.